Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Prince Kratos and welcome back to Get Even. So, um, right where I had to go through that little hole on the wall. Because I had to replay this section. Because it didn't save last time. So, yes. Um, okay, we found that. I remember that from last time. So I gotta find some kind of fuse or something. I don't, it doesn't say anything. Thermal readings. Mm. The wheelchairs of doom. Hi. Okay, so we follow the footsteps. And this is locked. Mm, this has no door, no burned. A monkey. Don't startle me. I'm gonna throw you out of the window. I'm gonna do it. Don't test me. Uh. Oh, well, the lights flickering. I don't like this. I have zero tolerance for shenanigans. Uh. Mr. Flashlight. Can you please shush? Right after receiving text, press tab to open it immediately. This is your fault. Tease all your fault. Outsider. There's a green dot there. It means there's something nearby, but still one green dot. Am I getting closer? Am I getting further? I don't know. There's only one dot. Oh. Ah, I remember. This is where we left off. Hold your horses. Building circuitry unstable. Reset with breaker or fuse box. Yeah, I gotta follow. Those wires are probably warm. Yeah, yeah. I could chase them back. This is where we left off. We gotta follow the freaking. So I'm guessing there. Follow the foozies. Maybe I should walk like this. Would it be easier? I don't see shit. Uh, but you, uh, where am I? Uh, am I going up there? I mean, probably. Yes, I'm going up there. What was that? Is someone waiting? By the counter? Okay, don't jump scare me now. Don't shit shit. Can we have the flashlight? This won't work. Open you son of a bitch. There's nothing warm here. But they okay. They all lead there. But this door is closed. What am I supposed to do? I don't have a weapon. Or do I? No, I don't. Uh. Yeah, those footsteps are backwards now, so... Is there anything... Okay, there's a cable over there. Where do you lead? Is this the way I came? This is the way I came, right? The monkey's down! Oh, uh, hi, monkey! Okay. I'm gonna get jump scared now. This is the way I came, I'm sure of it. I just missed the monkey because I- yeah, yeah. I climbed up here, just missed the monkey because I was walking- I was looking at the cables. So yeah, this is the this is where I, I they led me to this locked door. So is this the room that I found before? 
the over here so I can't see shit dude over here is this it yeah that should be it okay there's an F perfect 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 hi uh, hi Okay, maybe I should follow. Okay, now this lights up. Did I do it? Your actions will have consequences. What? Why? What? What have I done? Okay, more footsteps. Okay, uh, I didn't realize I didn't realize there was a choice. Was there a choice? I'm not sure you're responsible for that. What the fuck is going on? Can I open this now? Oh, I can. Okay. So I'm getting closer to the thing. Let's scan for it. Where is it? Where is it? Three. Maybe it's in here. There was a door here, right? No, there's something else. Can't see. Okay, hi. Um, this is me. What's going on? This is you. Hello? Anyone there? Hey. Why was he there? Cold Black. Upon leaving the military seven years ago, it seems Black lost years of his life to alcohol and occasionally even drugs. In order to fund the lifestyle, he took small-scale security jobs where he began to develop something of a reputation. Word spread about his ability and willingness to fight should the situation call for it, which ultimately led to work as a contracted killer. Over time, Black left the alcohol behind in favor of, of the thrill of his new work. Though his contracts pay well, Black seems to use the money only to gouge. Gouge the importance of the contract and the seriousness of the client. Psych reports suggest Black is a walking contradiction, unable to kill without feeling wrought with guilt, yet only able to find purpose in life through killing. No known family or friends. Something's not right. Sure, are we talking about you, Mr. Black? Are you the monster here? And I still can't find shit the scan. Well, do I, do I need to to move this? Uh oh, 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 there's four over here. Where am I scanning? There oh, yeah, well, uh, this is the 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 propane tank, okay. Halothane anesthetic gas detected. Anesthetic Okay. Still didn't get it. And, uh... I don't like... I don't like it when I have to go back. Oh, shit! I told you! Ah, Mr. Black. Hello. Please, apologies for the theatrics. It's all part of the treatment. My treatment? This will be far more straightforward if you just keep breathing. That's it. Good. Excellent. Why? 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 Oh, the tank. Oh, the tank. Something happened. 
What is going on? What the fuck? Hello? That's it, Mr. Black. Relax. Breathe. You're back with us. Minor confusion is expected. What? I can't see shit. Who are you? What the hell is this thing on my head? Hey! Calm, Mr. Mr. Black. Black. That's all I ask. Your current confusion is a byproduct of your treatment. All very unfortunate, but I assure you, you are in safe hands. If it helps you focus, you may call me Red. You. You were Red? Guess me. There was something before. Another place. That's why you're here, Mr. Black. But now is not the time for questions. Uh. What's going on? Where's my camera? I lost my camera. I can't see without my camera. The only source of light in this darkish hellhole. <laughs> nope. No thanks. I'm gonna go over here. Can I go? Why? Wait. Wait. A gun. Why did you my give gun. me that? Consider it security, Mr. Black. A token of trust. How oh. can I trust you when you knock me out and put this thing on my head? What's on your head? Your memory was damaged in the explosion, leaving two questions that you came to us to answer. Why were you there? And who was the girl? I know why I was there. To save the girl. Then we are making progress. Please. Proceed. Proceed with what? Hello? Can I turn this up? Do I need to kill someone? I don't trust you giving me a gun. Is this a tiara that would look great on me? V memory visualization headset prototype. Memory capture, yeah, and display. Main head strap. So is this thing on my head? Because we never figured it out. There should be a mirror here. Somewhere where I can see what's on my head. Okay, too many ways to go. Probably not. Bethesda Asylum, Sparehouse Lane, Blackwell. Blackwell. This this name reeks. Of uh, asylum uh, auras and patient was an English literature teacher at Sunnerfield High School, but after a car accident, he developed a possible Cloverbussy syndrome. I don't know what's Cloverbussy syndrome. If anyone knows, please enlighten me. Two weeks ago, the patient was injured in a car accident. When he finally came to, he displayed some curious symptom. He was unable to recognize family and friends. Was unusually calm, almost apathetic. And would frequently try to put together to put different objects in his mouth. I don't want to know where this is going. Mm, his notebook, empty paper cups, hyper, hyperorality. Okay. After being diagnosed, the patient was transported to our facility, whereupon we commenced. Carhama Zementri. Oh, so that's the thing I was uh, I was breathing before from the propane tank. That's the thing they gave me. So, yeah, but then they gave me a weapon, so I don't know who to trust here. I'll know. Hi. I'll know when I get my camera. So, oh, wait a minute. So, this is the file of the patient that lived here. Everything is destroyed. Is this my room? Probably. Let's see what this guy has. And, uh, let's uh, let's uh, screen text this. Aspar Haslane Blackwell, blah blah blah. Name Walt Kaufman. Kaufman? Is this, this the guy from Silent Hill? I don't know if his name was Walt, but it, it was Kaufman. Address 828, more sister, uh, male, Caucasian, blah 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 Okay, patient suffers from anxiety disorder and possible depressive disorder. Outwardly calm when any and all decisions are made by a third party, yet agitated when left to make choices themselves. Submissive and inactive by nature, patient will quickly become anxious and argumentative if left alone for long periods. Case information, patient admitted after being found screaming and crying in a local supermarket. 
The police report outlines that the patient was whispering, they're already here and they know what I did. Oh God, have mercy on me. After brief evaluation, patient was admitted to our institution and sedated. Immediate psychiatric interviews showed thoughts and fixations of morbidity, death and murder. Patient is talkative yet highly unresponsive to questioning. So, did you kill someone, mister? I'll be the judge. No, I won't be. I won't be. Who am I? Okay. So, patient B18, bipolar disorder. Patient beards a lot. Patient 213, major depressive disorder. Hello, Mr. Dwarf. And who's that handsome fellow over there? Patient 746, alcoholic hallucinations, puppet master worshipper. Okay, so this guy didn't have anything special, right? This, this is the only guy with puppet master. Okay. Oh, master. Oh, I do have my smartphone. Well, thank you for telling me. I never knew. Match found. Leonard Shelby, 31. Missing persons registry number 0210. Case reported September 2000. September 2000? Wait. That was... When was that? So it's almost 7 a.m. I'm guessing or PM I don't know I have no clue but it's 12 uh, 2015 so this guy's been missing for a number of years let's scan this dude -er. Match found. Walt Kaufman. here's mr. Kaufman armed forces unit classified armed forces what's he doing here is there another thing I guess? Uh, yeah, there's something I can scan. It says three over here, but no four. Maybe it's maybe it's over here. Yeah. Okay, so I missed something. Analysis complete. Memory unit RR zero zero three. Code name Pandora Savant. Looks like the same thing I'm wearing. Yeah, so this is what I'm wearing. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to scan. Yeah, this is where I got my weapon. I think there's going back now. So, let's hope I'm not missing anything. Let's move forward. Oi, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, that's a lot better. Just what? hang on. What's going on here? Where are we? Please, you've got to help me. The switch there that opens this door. You, you have to help me. Where the fuck are you, dude? Oh, there he is. Uh, not really, man. I'm gonna scan you first. Pension number three nine, nothing more. Man, I can't take responsibility for you. Ooh, what's this? What? Uh, what have I done? Hey, this is the the button to to let him loose. I'm not open the door. Get me out before he puts me back in. I can't do that, I'm sorry. Come back! You have to help me! They gave me a weapon, uh, I, I think I'm gonna be needing it if I... if I set you free. Heart of Darkness, Horrors of the Asylum. Uh, screen text. Just open the door! Get me out before he puts me back in! Shut up! Built in 62, the house of five, 500 inmates, Luther's Asylum had over 2,000 patients at, at its peak. At mid-80s, 15 years later, 
The facility was forced to close due to allegations of numerous ex-patients together with a series of newspaper articles regarding shocking and unorthodox treatment used by director of the institution Dr. William Benway. Benway held the radical belief that all mental disorders are caused by bodily infections and that the most direct way to cure a patient is by removing the offended in infection. Reports suggest he would pull patients' teeth out and if he deemed the treatment unsuccessful he would frequently remove other body parts too, including testicles, arteries, ovaries and stomachs. Shut up, dude! I'm talking here! He claimed the method had a 90% cure rate, but in reality many of the patients died, which Benway would refer to as the ultimate cure. Benway and his methods eventually gave rise to the Lithers Asylum nickname, the Hospital of Lost Teeth. Okay, sure. Sounds... Sounds nasty. I don't want to set this guy free. Because... Very good, Mr. Black. He must be as efficient as possible. Your actions will have consequences. The, the fact that I didn't... Uh... Okay, well, I guess so. Hmm. Yeah, wait a minute, I wanna read that. Benway gave the patients LSD and with instruction that they must now discover their inner selves. He admitted his previously previous theory about the bottle infection was probably imperfect, but having seen the results of Dr. Elliot Baker's therapy, he believed that LSD may be the key to cure all mental illness. It is crucial, he said, that the patient is naked on high doses of LSD and put in solitary for at least two weeks. Predictably, patients' conditions would often make, take a turn for the worse after such treatment. Some of the more extreme cases involved a schizophrenic patient, Richard Pickman, pulling his eyes out and eating them, with another Ronald Opus committing suicide by self-strangulation. I've never made a single mistake, said Dr. Benway when asked about his patients' allegations. In 1999, the hospital closed its doors for good. Many local residents and ex-patients hope it will be demolished, but for now it stands abandoned. In 2003, it served as a setting for a low-budget horror movie, The Final Session. Okay, is that where we are? So, yeah... Uh, I can't open the fucking door. Oh, shit! You, you, yeah. I know, how am I using a weapon? Do you actually need... We just saw a guy dying from just one hit from a pipe while the other one survived two bullets. Very I don't good, know. Mr. Black. He must be as efficient as possible. I think. Wait a minute. I think this is the best time to end this. So. Hey, I'm gonna leave you here. So we're gonna talk about the balance of this game next time because I don't feel so good about it. I don't like dying from a fucking biped while the other guy was surviving crazy bullets left and right. So next time, maybe if I remember, I'm gonna be ready for him. Maybe not. You're gonna know. Okay, I guess I guess I'm done. So thank everybody so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. As you were.